What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. Uh, today we're just getting ready to head to Talladega Short Track. So looking forward to this one. It's $5,000 to win with the SCRA series. So uh, we're getting ready to hit the road. We're just finishing loading Tina the Tahoe up. Got my little buddy Cade here. What you doing? You ready to go racing? Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny when I go racing, you know, we just, I got one little bag and my race bag and that's it. But then when uh, I bring Sabrina and Cade with us, it filled the whole car. But uh, it's all, it's all fun, you know. We uh, got about a five and a half hour drive, maybe six with the traffic, but hopefully it goes by pretty quick and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys there. A couple of minutes in the drive and he's already asleep, but he, uh, must get those napping skills from his mom because I definitely can't do that. There's the old home track, the Scriven Motor Speedway. It's uh, definitely one of my favorite places to race at and I look forward to going there later this year and back in February. Well, we're hitting a little bit of weather right now, but still pretty far away from the track, so hopefully it clears up some. Um, I know the rain forecast for this weekend wasn't looking great but i think it will uh, i think it'll be all right so i've heard that this track gets pretty fast when it rains and has a lot of moisture in it and it gets pretty heavy so hopefully that's not the case because if that does happen then uh bigger motor cars will kind of prevail but i'm hoping for a nice dry slick track and then um you know we should be should be in good shape so We made it to our airbnb but unfortunately tonight we uh we rained out so i think uh i think jason keeps bringing the rain with him so bringing the beer yeah there we go <laughs> now, that's a good stuff right there but uh yeah we're just gonna hang out tonight i think we're gonna hit up a there's a little go-kart track and arcade and stuff up the road so me and jason uh sabrina and Cade and a couple of other a couple of our other buddies we're gonna head there and have some fun so um yeah that'll be uh I'll be kind of it for the night though. So, I mean, we'll pick it up with the racing stuff uh, tomorrow afternoon and it's gonna be a one day show. Uh, as Jason could tell you, we <laughs> don't always have the best luck at one day shows, but uh, I mean, this is a new track for me and new track for, for us as a team. And uh, we're gonna have to learn quick. So hope we make the right changes and you know, we'll, we're just gonna have to go with it, but it's gonna be one of those things I think we'll be all right. <laughs> Hey, does boost actually work? Uh, they say it doesn't, but it seems like my car car gets a little bit faster. <laughs>
Yeah, I know. I was like, holy shit, I'm catching it. I thought we were still doing pace laps. He tried to kill me mine was on and it was off. Are you doing the race no way by apologize? That was super lame. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, royally unimpressed. I was too. <laughs> yeah, those things were so slow. Well, me, Mike, and Jason, uh, we just got done riding the world's slowest go-karts, I think. But uh, after going back and looking at the video, I was cart 10 and I beat, beat Mike's time by 40 thousandths of a second. So it was actually 34 thousandths of a second, get it right. Yeah, fast time of the race, just remember that. So <laughs> I'm gonna carry that over into uh, tomorrow, good momentum for the weekend. So uh, Jason, let me get your review on the, the world's fastest go-karts. It was lame. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, we when, once we started, we couldn't even see each other anymore. It was, was kind of, it was lame, but eh, it is what it is. We need something to do. Anyway, that's a, that's going to be it for tonight, and we'll see you all tomorrow at Talladega. Well, we made it to Talladega Short Track. Got everything unloaded. Jason's just uh, getting some stuff ready. Yeah, how you feel about the weather? I feel good, man. We're here. Yeah, we're here. We drove, uh, drove a long way, so hopefully it doesn't rain. I mean, it's looking all right right now, but in a couple hours, that's going to be kind of when a uh, storm blowing through but we're just getting the car warmed up but i think the old girl's gonna be good to us so um yeah we gotta go through tech gotta get ready for qualifying and then uh be ready to go from there tonight hopefully we'll be okay we do have a thought process and a plan and i'll let you know if we need that plan later we have 39 or 40 depending on what joey decides we'll do our format where we qualify lock in the top 11 from qualifying then three b mains that transfer three each that gets us to 20 cars and then we have four points for visuals if we need them if we don't need them We'll go back and pick up cars from the uh, B mains as we need. Grace is sure wearing that little guy out. I tell you. Are you ready? I'm hoping. We'll see.
Well, Kevin was just telling me that I have a track record for five minutes, but uh, Andrew seemed to beat me. So. Uh, I felt like the car was alright, but I know it was uh, that quick. Did we, uh, did we hold second? No, you got third, but third. still really good. The car felt really good, so I don't know, I think we're going to be alright. We, uh, uh, since we didn't get to film between practice and qualifying, I uh, put a set of smaller tires on. We weren't really turning enough RPM, but a lot better then so still need a little more to gear but gonna it is what it is we're gonna run it so. just finished watching some b-main action uh luckily we weren't in there and even my buddy Mike, you know, he qualified 10. Yeah. I was a uh, car. Car was pretty decent. I, I think I was in the first group because I think they didn't do many uh, favors, but also, you know, probably could have drove a little better. But overall, happy to be locked in the show for one. Yeah. Well, everything's tight under the hood. <laughs> That's a good thing because the whole motor almost fell out last time. So, well, we aren't all hanging in here because we like each other that much. Um, fortunately, Mother Nature's winning right now. So. Got a car in the trailer. It's kind of hanging out for now, so hopefully we don't lose the track because when it rains like this and the track gets muddy, then we might not be able to do anything with it till tomorrow. But still don't know what they're gonna do. They haven't told us. We're just kind of waiting it out now. Well, Mother Nature ended up getting us yesterday, so we are here on Sunday afternoon. Uh, got work tomorrow, so I'm hoping we get through the program pretty quick. But uh, the track actually looks really good for how much rain we got so uh definitely don't want to end up down there in the infield but uh i mean the, the track itself i mean for how much rain we got i'm really surprised that it is as good as it is because i mean i'm talking about on the way home i could not see in front of me so uh it downpoured i was up ankle deep in water and pits in some areas and it uh it was bad but uh, shout out to Talladega Short Track and the SCRA series for, you know, instead of sending us home empty handed they're trying to get the race in today. Um, we appreciate the heck out of that. So I'm ready to go, rolling off third, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it.
my home second. Just kind of lost some bricks there at the end. Tech now and whatnot, but grabbed the dawn on the win. It was a hell of a race, and that was a, that was a good one. Good out there, just kind of lost brakes there towards the end. So, about five laps to go, the pedals start getting soft, and you couldn't really tell how much brake we had in it. But, I mean, all in all, the car was great, it handled great the whole time, and uh, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better day. So, well, we'll start getting ready for the next one. Uh, I think the next one is Florence, Kentucky. It's gonna be a long ride, but we'll be ready for it. Or, uh, the car's been phenomenal, so looking forward to that one. I'll be a Chris and we'll catch y'all later.